fact that I'm literally two wins away from the title and from the million dollars, like uh, confidence is, is at an all time high right now, but the motivation, it's never been higher. It's right there, I, at the end is in sight. And that's what I love about the PFL's format. That title's right there and I can go, I feel like I can reach out and grab it. I remember when I when I checked into the hotel for the PFL fight in, in Vegas. They had the belt on the on the table, and my brother picked it up. He's like, "Whoa, this thing is heavy. It's cool. You want to feel it?" I was like, "Nope, I'm not touching it until it's mine." So day in the life of Shane Burgos, uh, it varies, but for the most part, I'm training almost every single day. Uh, Mondays are usually my, one of my harder days. It's uh, boxing, sparring in the morning, uh, grappling right after, hard grappling. Then after that, we have some PT, and then later on in that day, we have strength conditioning. Basically, that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tuesdays, Thursdays are a little bit lighter. Saturdays, I, I, I completely off, and then Sundays, I go for a long walk. So just left our first session of the day, Tiger Solomon's own Park, New Jersey, our headquarters. Now we're going to Edge Pro PT in Paramus, New Jersey. I got that from one to two. This next part is uh, super underrated. A lot of uh, fighters pride themselves on being tough guys and all that stuff. Me going to physical therapy two or three times a week, it, it, it makes sure that my body stays primed and ready to go for a fight night. That first day that we, he gets back and lands off the plane, it's injury assessment, what's banged up, any kind of areas that need that kind of immediate trauma treatment, um, edema massage, soft tissue work, modalities. The first week is usually geared towards kind of rec full recovery, full rehabilitation, so that the following week he can ramp back into training. Second week back, he's full go. One stop shop here, so just finish the physical therapy. therapy. It's now yeah. a freeze, crowd therapy, it's pretty fun. So it's basically an ice bath without the, the ice water. Um, a lot more enjoyable than an ice bath, I'd say. Not as uh, physically grueling as an ice bath, that's for damn sure. Cold water compared to cold air. I'll take cold air any day. Three minutes in here, I'm done. So we're at a second session. TNT, Total Nose Yada Training in uh, Paramus, New Jersey. Here at DC Strength Training uh, with my boy Nick. Let's go get it. We got TNT training, strength conditioning from two to three. I love strength training. Um, aside from the fact that I love it, that's a huge part of injury prevention too, is keeping your muscles and your joint, joints strong so you don't get hurt. Because you get, obviously, in, in, when you're in training, you get in these weird situations, these weird positions all the time. Um, the stronger your, your muscles are, the stronger your joints are, the easier it is to prevent you getting a serious injury. So super neglected part of mixed martial arts, I think, is strength conditioning and the, the PT aspect. I'm back in Monroe, New York. I'm at my in-law's house, actually. They have a pool, so my kids are in the pool all day. I get asked all the time, like, what do you like to do besides fighting or training? And I'm like, uh, nothing. I spend time with my family and I train. It's just an obsession. Um, my wife always says that every time we go on vacation, I have to see the, if the hotel gym is nice, okay, we can book that hotel. If the hotel gym is not nice, then no, we gotta go somewhere else. Having a family now, three daughters, a wife, um, it takes a lot, especially the way, the way the season is, it takes a lot of time away from them. Because usually after every fight, I take my kids and my wife, and we go on a vacation, we go somewhere. With this one, and having the fights back to back to back, it's, it's been hard not giving them that time. My wife, Veronica, I can't even put into words how much she sacrificed. When I'm in training camp, she's picking up that slack that I hate to say it, but yeah, I, I do slack at times when it comes to that because I'm run down from training. I'm giving everything I have in training and I'm taking away from, from my family time. So it's a, it's a huge sacrifice because time is something you never get back. So to take time away from them, I got to make this worth it in the end. I love tattoos, it's one of my um, other passions in life. I love fighting, I love family, I love food. Those are my three Fs, and then the last one is tattoos. It's an anatomical heart with three swords going through it to represent my three daughters, because uh, that's a different love that you'll never feel. Like, so I feel like that's a love that pierces your heart. And then I have a queen's crown above it to my wife. It's an homage to all my, all my queens. <laughs> Once I signed, this is a fight that everyone's like, oh, give me Clay versus Shane, give me Clay versus Shane. I'm 7-0 in New York, 3-0 uh, at MSG. I'm preparing for a three-round, all-out, high-paced war, but I'm so comfortable fighting in New York, and I, I feel like the stars align for me to be in this picture right now. 